Well, we're working on the last two uh, cleats. Like I said, that boat's got them here and the two at the rear. This boat, we're actually drilling the holes right here. We got these two holes drilled. Uh, we got, obviously, two more. These are our bolts and nuts for that. We got to do the rear one. And then this one's already done here at the front. Voila. And the two back ones are done. So we're good. And the trampoline. We got the trampoline done for this side. So now both trampolines are done. So that's already uh, sitting there, ready to ready to relax on. Uh, and so anyway, I'm gonna keep drilling, and we're gonna put these bad boys in. And at some point, we're gonna have to seal them. We got to seal these with like silicone, which I have, and then uh, we'll cover that. You'll see that. You'll see what's happening there. I've got the skinny girl working under the uh, bow here, bow cover because she can reach these put the nuts and stuff on so we will be back with four holes and a cleat mounted bye for now and check out that trampoline folks see there's one here well under there under there there's one trust me believe me i wouldn't i wouldn't pull your leg on that two trampolines and a whole mess of cleats by <coughs> oh the other thing we have to consider too which i'm doing now i'm having the tarpaulin frames built the things that'll hold the tarpaulin up so there's one that goes up from back there there's one that goes up from right here there's one that goes up between the cleat and here somewhere it'll go up to hold the tarpaulin and one at the back it'll go up and one on the inside. They're on the inside of the outside hulls. On the inside here and of course the inside front too. So there'll be four on the outer side and two front, one front, one rear center hull to hold the tarpaulin up. Not that tarpaulin, but a real tarpaulin. One we have to have custom made. It'll be made out of, it's like a canvas with a rubberized coating and it's good for about four years in direct sunlight. So. Hopefully we'll get more, but four is a good start. So we will be back with more. Uh, we're actually, we already have one of the ones welded up. I got to make one modification to it. Uh, and then this evening, we're going to have the other one. Well, actually the other one for this side, because that one and this one for the outer holes is the same. Uh, everything. So we're going to make those two first. And then the front two are slightly different. And then, of course, these for the front and rear are going to be uh, slightly, well, quite a bit different. Not quite a bit, but different. You'll see. Bye for now. All right, so we got the front cleat on now. Got it all mounted, everything all centered and lined up. And at the kind of at the end of the 2 by 4 is about here, I think. I backed off about 4 or 5 inches from the end. To here and then that gives us plenty of room to mount our trampoline I mean our trampoline our uh, tarpaulin cover and now we're at the back centering it this is 19 inches that 2 by 4 ends 19 inches from here so we went honey will you hold that 19 inches basically to the end of this cleat here it's actually 19 and 3 eighths but close in, in, uh, 19 inches is the end of the two who by four so right there so we're putting this here because we need the room here between here and here and that's 12 inches which should be plenty for our trampoline support and we have to have room between here and the trampoline to be looping throwing rope and stuff so that should be perfect so we got our holes all marked our holes drill, uh, marked. You see those little rings? And we're going to drill them. Now, I got the drill. It's a quarter inch drill, quarter inch bolts, stainless steel bolts. So I will drill these and we will be back. You want to watch me drill one? Okay, let me see if I can drill and film video at the same time. Got to get right in the center. There's the camera. There's the camera. You gotta come out some because uh, like I said before, the drill bit loads up. You got, you see all that epoxy that comes out? That's the layer of epoxy between the plywood and, uh, and the uh, 
uh, top of the boat uh, bow cover here. Like I said, this is this is one half inch thick. Uh, it's a quarter inch plywood, a thick layer of epoxy, and then another quarter. So it's a little stronger than half inch plywood because it's got that thick epoxy uh, layer. And then of course we got the two by four under it. So <laughs> voila, that's how you drill. So we're going to do that three more times, and then we're going to put this on here, and we'll be done. These are the uh, you've probably seen these before. They're countersunk because that's what that hole takes is a countersunk. See, it's countersunk. Uh, screw so it's just like a Phillips screw 304 stainless these aren't 316 but that's as good as we can get uh, readily and then of course we got our washers and lock nuts I wouldn't mind getting larger washers which we may do at some point in time uh, there's a washer bolt place in Cebu City that's got almost everything we got the uh, big washers for the the uh, cross beam plates those uh, flat uh, bar stainless steel we got big washers they're like that big for the 3 8 inch and they're thick man they're like a, I don't know not an eighth inch thick but they're really thick and they're 316 magnet doesn't even stick to them so they're really super stuff so you can't get uh, stuff uh, and maybe 316 but this is going to work just fine 304 is good for the ocean it's just not as perfect as uh, 316 is so I'm going to drill some more holes and we'll mount that bad boy and we'll be done with uh, cleat mounting we do like I said have to take them all off again and then squirt some kind of silicone I'll show you how we're going to do that I figured that out in the middle of the night one night when I was laying in bed because uh, I don't put a whole bunch of you know, silicone down there because when you push the screw through it just pushes it all out so I'm going to put the bolt in almost all the way and then I'm going to silicone around the top of it and I have to silicone under here too because that has to seal against here and the holes have to seal so you have your seal from that to here and the seal and the bolt and the hole so no water gets into that wood so um, that's kind of my theory we'll we'll see how it all works everything here is theory until we do it and then it's like wow that worked or we need, <laughs> we need to do a plan B so we'll do plan a for now and we'll be back with more see that front cleat way up yonder well you can't see it can you i can't see it barely there's a little dot of a cleat there but anyway zoomed in it don't work that good so we'll be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island bye hey for now everybody. as i said we're back and by jolly look at that we got all the cleats on now we got that cleat on we got these two cleats on we got those two cleats on which you can't see. We got the front cleat on up there. We got the front cleat on up here which you saw just a second ago. And we got the front cleat on up there. So all the cleats are on. We do have to undo them and take them apart. And like I said, silicone them and that. But we just wanted to get them mounted to make sure everything works. We got plenty of room here for our uh, tarpaulin upright holder. It'll go up and hold the tarpaulin uh, high enough. I'm roughly six feet tall. So from the bottom of the boat to the cinder top, it'll be about six feet eight going up. So this guy that mounts here will, if you measure from the floor of the boat, that floor back there, not here, because obviously this rises up. Uh, but from uh, that floor up, it'll be six feet eight. So it'll be four inches higher than these ones. These are six foot four. So I got four inches of clearance above my head, so I'm not dragging my head on the tar tar tarpaulin. Hopefully, unless it sags like that. But the way we rig it, it shouldn't. And so we'll have one here, one there, one there, one at the front, and come back here, and straight back there, and then over to here, and out to this. So it'll be like a six-sided diamond I don't know diamond shape kind of like six sides the center will be longer and then the angles go there and then straight and then angle back to the front and then angle back to the outer porthole straight back over to this one and then angle back here so you can get kind of get the the gist of what I'm talking about for the tarpaulin and hopefully they can make a tarpaulin that's more than 12 foot wide because this hole is 12 foot 4 inches I think 
and then we got another roughly four inches sticking over on each side for drip off uh, and if it rains but it mainly it's going to be for sun because we're not going to go out in the rain that much but if it didn't perhaps rain at least it get it wet and so that's going to be four plus four plus four let me see four plus four plus four yeah that's well, that's 13 feet wide and whatever distance additional going up six inches and down six inches is going to add another two or three inches I'm get, get guessing so about 13 foot four roughly is my guess is the width and the length is going to be maybe 15 feet long so hopefully they can do a, a tarpaulin 15 or 16 feet this away and at least 13 let's say 13 4 maybe 13 6 this away so we'll see hopefully they can do that uh, they can uh, weld the tarpaulin together I'm pretty sure because I've seen boats with pretty big tarpaulins and obviously they were either come with rolls that big or they weld them so we will be back with more cleat and I'm really excited about the uh, uh, tarpaulin frame holder thingies once you see those if, I think you'll like them I like them we've got one made like I said so we got to go to the welder at five so it's four o'clock now I said at 4 30 we'll leave the welder should be back at five and he's gonna work till eight so that's three hours and that's what it took to build the other one so and we've got the one for this one built we just need to build one for that hole like i said they're the same but just opposite ang angle which you will see so we will be back with more building the paradise farm ran bye for now this is the trampoline number two and this is where this one goes the one we showed you a video of we put it here and then we did all some testing and then we put it over there and then that's where I got on it was over there but now we got both of them both of them here but we didn't get all of our tarpaulins off there so you can't really get the full gist of it but anyway uh, it works we need to kind of adjust this one uh, that corner there needs to go forward some so it lines up with all the cross beams properly but we'll have to do a little chiropractic adjustment on that if you know what I mean but that's it it's good to go it looks like it's uh, working fine and uh, you can see the water through there all this other all this extra tarpaulin will be gone and it'll look like that so you can see kind of the ocean you know right now you're seeing dirt and rocks and stuff but you'll actually see the ocean there later and we will be back with more trampolines cleats and soon to have tarpaulin frames yeehaw bye for now hey everybody we are now sealing these we put all these in temporary and then we're sealing it with this you know the silicone stuff pro seal it's uh rtv neutral cure it's just rtv and i don't know what rtv stands for but it's the rubber the the clear i'm using clear i could use white i guess because the most white but either one works i'm using clear and what I'm doing, I'm, I put clear on the bottom of this cleat, the, the feet, and then I put uh, clear from here up. Because if I put it here or in the hole, when I push the bolt through, it just pushes all the clear out, and then the nut is, is uh, we have to clean all that off to put the nut on. So, I don't put any on here. There is some coming out the side, too. That's no big deal. You ready for the next one? Okay, the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in about that far. And then I'm going to take this gun. And I don't know if you know how to use these guns. But let me show you real quick. Okay, so anyway, th this, is, this is the release button here. So if you push this, it actually takes the pressure off of the gun. And it stops oozing out here. But once you push here on this guy, that's when the pressure is applied. And it starts to ooze out there. Well, if you push on this here and you let off, there's still pressure and it still keeps going out, which you don't want right now because, you know, you already put the, the goop on the screw. 
So then you have to push this button here and maybe even pull this handle back to take the pressure off so it doesn't keep oozing. So anyway, I'm going to put some on here. Just like that. Because I just want the top of the hole to seal. And then I push that to release the pressure so it doesn't keep oozing out and dripping on the ground. And you see we've got it on the screw here. So I'm going to take my finger and kind of rub it around and make sure it's in all the threads and kind of geeked up there nicely. Okay. And then I'm going to take the screwdriver. And I've got this stuff on my finger, so I'm going to get it on the camera. And I just slide it down in, in there. I've got my, I had to hold it the way the speaker thing is. And then it's down. And then she puts a nut on it right now. She puts one of the, and we're using the, uh, we're using one flat washer, one lock washer, and then a self-locking nut. As you can see, it's got that nylon in the end. But once you thread that on, that nylon kind of grips the, uh, uh, threads and and makes it less likely to un un uh, come loose so that's our plan so for right now we're just threading it on just just this deep up to the nylon because if you tighten it down and these holes don't line up then you got to go loosen all that so we're putting all the screws in just starting the nut on each one and then we uh, will uh after it's all in and siliconed, then we'll tighten them down. So, because I got to have a free hand, a free hands, multiple, I'm going to put the phone down, camera slash camera, and we're going to, uh, she's going to tighten that down. Whoops, she's pushing on, on the seat, but I'm not pushing down. Okay. So she's doing, I'm not screwing the top here because it, it gets all the uh, RTV out of the head of the screw. Got it, honey? Okay, so we'll do the next one. Same step, same song, third verse, because we got the first verse, the second verse, third, and we'll do the fourth verse. Bye for now. Lindy's in the thing upside down. We got one more to do there, but she's too big. I'm certainly too big to get back in there and do the underside work, which is with a ratchet. So we got to get a kid from around here to get under there and do that one so that's our next challenge find a kid <laughs> that'll fit in there we're going into child labor now boat building child labor boat building but yeah they're all done well done now this one's done and uh, this one was done a week or so ago right here I put silicone down in the in the screw heads so that the water wouldn't get in there and they they look all rusty and then stuff. we have a problem well what is trying to explain to the kids to screw a nut on the underside of this these are the nuts then you got to start it by hand and then after he starts it by hand then he has to put this on then he puts that on then i can use the drill with the screw bit to tighten it but figuring out which one he's on and him telling us which one he's on did he put the screw on? I said, no, no, it's not. Okay, so anyway, how about somebody else doing it? That I'm asking, honey, this is. I don't know. Honey, you. May I drop the washer? Anyway. This ain't easy, folks. So we'll be back with more Confusion Central. Bye for now.